Hi everyone, this is Corey with Camera Coach, and thanks for joining us today. Today we are going to talk about understanding a DSLR camera, uh, which means we're going to talk about two things. First, we'll talk about just some names of the basic parts, and then how those parts work together to take photographs. Uh, understanding this can really help you in troubleshooting just on some basic, uh, basic levels, and maybe save you a little frustration. So let's start off with camera parts. Uh, about eight parts uh, are on my list here, so we'll get started with things that are actually not a part of the camera, but a part of the lens. Okay, the lens is of course that piece that has the, the, the glass, it's the barrel that helps to focus the light. Inside the lens is going to be the aperture, which when you, normally when you look through the back or even through the front, you can see that opening, that small opening is what allows the light through into the actual camera, and it's called the aperture. Okay, so we have our lens, we have our aperture, and then we're going to get to the actual camera body. Inside the camera, you'll also notice that there is a mirror, and there are two mirrors, technically. There's one here and one inside that is next to your viewfinder. It is going to allow you to look through the viewfinder and see what the camera sees, so you can view the photo before you take it. This is a DSLR camera, so not all cameras work exactly like this, but it's very, very similar in a lot of respects. Okay, so there is your viewfinder here. Uh, you also have your LCD display on the back, which is where you view your menus, and after you take your pictures, you might review them. Um, inside, underneath this mirror, I don't recommend doing this, by the way, but just uh, this is one of my training cameras. So behind this mirror, you will notice something that looks like a little curtain, uh, and this is the shutter. This is protecting the sensor. So the shutter and the sensor are interior parts, but they're very, very crucial. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put this back on. And what happens is, when you press the shutter release button, or the button that takes the picture, or the, the, just the clicker, whatever you want to call it, this button here is going to make the mirror and the shutter, that little curtain, move out of the way to let light all the way into the sensor. And the sensor is going to record the information that comes in, the light that comes in, and then it's going to translate that into an electrical signal and send it over to the memory card. So the memory card is not really built in. Most DSLRs do not have built-in memory, so you will have to have a memory card. This particular model has two, um, so that gives me a few other options, but without that memory card, it can't go through the entire process. And so normally when not, there's one, not a card in there, it's going to give you a warning of some type, some sort and tell you, hey, I need a memory card so I can save whatever you're trying to take. All right, and so we have the lens, the aperture inside the lens. Then we have our shutter release button that moves the shutter and that mirror out of the way. Uh, we have our memory card that's in there for storage. We have our LCD display so we can look at our menu. We can review our images. We have our viewfinder right here. And those are some of the key parts right there. Okay, so just in understanding those and kind of the workflow of the camera may help you to troubleshoot uh, just in case something comes up. Well, that's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching. If this was something that really helped you, please like, subscribe, or share, and just pass it along to someone else that you think may need it. Okay? All right, this is Corey signing off.